We are taking the shower that is on the back side of our house, our outdoor shower, and getting rid of it today since we finally have an indoor shower that we have been able to enjoy. And then we have something much more important to tackle. All right, so we are successfully disconnected. Let's go ahead and get the tractor over here, pick this thing up with the forks, and uh, it's gonna fit into the dumpster. Do you wanna keep these pavers, yay or nay on that one? Yeah, I could probably use them for something eventually. Okay. Hold up, let me guess. Ran out of gas. Yep, yep. <laughs> Five P's, boys. Always make sure you have a full tank before you get on the road. Proper plan prevents poor performance. <laughs> Five P's. All right, go get the gas tank and fill it up. You wonder why we have two hose bibs? The reason, hot and cold, obviously. Um, when it's 40 degrees outside, I gotta wash my truck, wash the buggy or anything like that, maybe wash Aaron's back for her. <laughs> I'm sorry. But we want warm water. So, everybody knows washing cars when it's 35 degrees outside kinda sucks. So, we put hot water out here so we can uh, make the water warm. Outside, make sure we have the leaks first. So, now that all of that is taken care of, we can move on to the more important stuff that needs to be handled. We're about to be canceled. We're about to be canceled. <laughs> by our insurance company. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and read that. <laughs> okay, so basically the uh, the highlights of the letter say that they- Before we start. Yes, yes, Go ahead. Um, When we built the house, we actually had a uh, construction insurance policy. So if something happened, something burnt down, whatever, it was covered by the insurance company. So we, we wouldn't be staying there with nothing left. So we had that. Once we moved in, we went ahead and transferred the insurance policy and made it a homeowner's policy because we lived there yes and then they came out and they took pictures and all of that and then we got this in the mail and it basically says that we have to have handrails and steps that are permanent mm -hmm. on uh all entrances uh for anything that's over 18 inches high which includes everything yes yeah, so that's the where the deck is it's where the main front door is in the back area the little porch area and also the stairs that go down yes so um, not only do we need all of that taken care of, but we also have to have the underside of the house um, underpinned and closed in. Yes, that's what the issue is. It's a, yeah. lot, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work and um, I mean. Before we even do that, we gotta finish underneath the house too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so we, we, we have, which is, we, we knew that that was coming and we planned on having that taken care of before winter hits because we obviously have to deal with the radiant heat that's under there, the insulation that's gonna go under there, and then we were gonna close everything in, but we didn't have this 60 day- Deadline. Deadline that we have to meet, and it's just not possible for us to build this big deck that we want on the back of the house and gonna, have it be gonna, the way we want. We're actually gonna hire somebody and sub it all out so it's done, right? <laughs> Can we? No, we're not doing that. <laughs> we don't have time, in my opinion, to build the deck that we really want to have, but also build the main entrance that we really want to have. So and then I think we should just close it all in, make some stairs come down, make them look legit with some handrails and call it 
done say that's that's finished product right which i think is a little bit of my concern because they are very specific in here about using the word permanent it's not temporary it's permanent permanent oh, it's permanent gonna, it's, 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 gonna in be, it's gonna be installed for permanent but if i want to do an upgrade the next day <laughs> i can i mean you know what i mean right if it's so, installed <laughs> properly and it's permanent okay who says i can't build a deck there the next day so it's you it's, know what i mean it's permanent <laughs> and we are going to upgrade in the very near future is what you're saying yes otherwise okay. not a thousand bucks i like your thinking there see they're gonna see we we just transferred over i just paid them like a thousand bucks mm -hmm. for the year and uh what's they gonna refund the money or they're just gonna keep the money and say sorry you're canceled they're gonna keep the money and say sorry you're canceled yeah so that means the plan is to start with the underpinning of the house no, because not, not underpinning. we're gonna start with the insulation and all the the radiant heat radiant actually heat. running running that because that that we're not going to do as permanent it's going to be actually permanent yes so plus we're gonna find an extension see if that works hoping it gets some extra time you think i mean it's, it's worth a shot worth a shot what does it mean to be free to be free in this american dream Trying to get tight. So, we got a good start on half of the house, this yes. side of the house. Done. We're putting up uh, one by twos. We're slamming them tight to the subfloor. Reason behind all this stuff, we're actually going to run radiant piping through. That's going to attach to the subfloor also with uh, like aluminum transfer plates. And those are going to staple to the bottom of the floor. The reason why we have the one by twos going down this way, I guess to the subfloor, one by twos to the subfloor like that. And then our radiant piping is going to go through that way and then we need a two inch air gap mm -hmm. so underneath we're going to staple um what's it called cut bubble foil insulation yeah exactly the bubble foil insulation we're actually going to staple it to the one by twos mm -hmm. so we're going to create like a two inch air gap of hot air with the radiant pipe and it's going to stay there that's what's going to heat the floors and what's going to radiate through the entire house and heat the house and once we get done with that bubble wrap, we go ahead and put our insulation in underneath, and then voila, it's done. We do the rest. Up the stairs, down the hall, 
No one cares and no one calls. Lose your mind, lose your faith. Nothing here to take its place. Will you leave a light on? Will you leave a light on? All of the one buys are installed underneath the house, so we are going to unbox this PEX pipe and get it all unrolled and then start installing that under the house. So we have 1,800 feet of, uh, I guess, PEX pipe to pull and we got less than two hours to do it. So you think we can get it done, babe? I think so. <laughs> not in two hours, I can't. As long as you don't make a mistake when unrolling like you did last time, you know? That is not even close to the intro, it's <laughs> you. I'm gonna shimmy on through here real quick, get under all the pipe, hit me the end of the pecs, and I'll start pulling everything through. All right, I need you to go back on that side the jet line, start pulling the jet line through so we can get the loop created. Once we get the loop created, I'm gonna need probably 15 feet on that side hanging out on your end, and then we'll start working the loops. We'll start in this, this closest bay and we'll start working our way back on okay. loops. We temporarily supported this. There's not a permanent install. This is the return going back towards where Aaron is just at. We have 15 feet hanging on that side. We don't want to mess with that footage because the entire length of this circuit is 280 some feet and the max footage we can use per circuit is 300 feet. So we want to make sure we have our 15 feet on that side. We don't want to mess anything up because we don't got much to spare, much to waste on that. So the way this is going to work, here's my supply, my return going back, my supply, is right through here coming out. We're gonna come through. We're gonna come to this bay right here to my right. We're gonna pull a loop through, come back. And it comes back around. And we're gonna do three bays this way. We're gonna start on this, this side first to make it easier for us. So we're gonna do three bays at a time per circuit. And then once we get down closer to the end, it's gonna jump up to four bays at a time. Ready? Okay, so I need some more flat. So right here guys is temporary again. Uh, we got this first bay pulled. Now this base pulled, this is holding its spot. So we're not putting any extra pecs in this bay or taking any out. So it's just holding its place. We're gonna go through, pull the next loop in the next bay. Once we get all these three bays pulled, the circuit is done. We're gonna go ahead and take these. They're pretty much gonna go right to the subfloor just like that with the pecs going through the center. What it does, it keeps the, the I guess the radiant pipe attached to the floor which heats the floor. And you can see right here, we've got our one buys. This right here is gonna have all the uh, bubble insulation attached to that to give us our two inch air gap to keep all the hot air in. And underneath that, we'll have our standard insulation. Never be free if you 
chain of those behind Or if you're selling your soul on the dirty line I ain't selling my songs to the record man Cause the radio stations won't reach this time. I ain't moving to the city and changing my name Keep your money, you can keep your thing. All my new WWOG shirts. You're not ruining them, you're testing them out. It's quality control. Yeah, I guess. Quality control. We test them out, we put them through hell, and we gotta see how good they are before we send them out to people, right? They work. <laughs> Easy mm -hmm. project, um, not exactly the most comfortable. Of no, kind of sucked in down there. When you need like that. I had knee pads. She didn't, so I came prepared today. You did. Yes, I know. I'm dirty and disgusting. You know, the good news is when we have one of these like nasty projects like this, we get to go inside and enjoy like the most amazing shower. shower. It's yeah. super rewarding right now. Yes, it is. <laughs> so we have we pulled six circuits, um, our six home runs and whatever supply and return six of them um so that does the entire house the next step we got to put the uh bubble wrap <laughs> boil bubble insulation boil bu bubble <laughs> what the <laughs> next step we gotta put the uh, bubble insulation underneath and staple that up insulate the floor like normal close everything up but also keep in mind uh with the trunk line going underneath the floor joists we're actually going to box that also and then insulate that um it's not going to be exposed to air um, I just didn't want to drill all the holes through all the floor joists. Be better just to build a pretty much a bulkhead around it all and close it all up. Yes, right? and then and then we have some big decisions to make on exactly how we want to close in the entire bottom of the house. We like have aesthetically a plan. how we want to do it. We we do we think we we know, but we just got to figure out exactly how it's going to get done. So mm -hmm. at this point, um, we feel like we have this situation under control at least yes. for insurance like this this project we're, we're going to get this done i guess the big question mark now is what we're going to do with the other entrances like there's something quick that we could rig up for the back entrance mm -hmm. um but then the, the other two entrances is we're just going to play it by ear <laughs> do you make a bet they'll, they'll let us plow, plow in the extension i yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know enough about it, to be honest. I was kind of hoping because I know like on the house that I grew up in when I was a kid, we didn't have a deck on the back. We were able to just block it off with like... How a lot of new houses are built like that. But theirs says that you have to have like permanent stairs and railings. So I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll see what they what they say. Hopefully you can just file an extension. You think like they, they take your money and they come and say, okay, it's good. Let me, let me inspect and I'm going to... 
come out there, now you need to do this, this, and this, we're keeping your money for canceling your policy. It's kind of crap. Yeah, they should tell you ahead of time and not just take your money and then come back with something. But the good news is, is we got a fire lit under our butt, so we got our work cut out for us, and we're going to take care of it. We always do. Easy enough. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right, guys. See you in the after show. See ya. <laughs>